Good morning, you guys. So today we're gonna end up starting our last trip on reserve. So it's gonna be our last one of the month before we go back to being a line holder. And it's a different trip than I would normally get because I was actually number one for a three day and I was at the top of the list and I was going aggressive for basically everything. Anything that wasn't lead position. And I think I went aggressive on like 35 different trips and I didn't get any of them. They were either going to line holders or to people on reserve that were senior to me. And I was just like, what is going on? And I hate when I go to bed and don't have a trip because then a lot of times they'll call you at like three or four in the morning. And I was like, no, no, no. So I was trying to get anything just so I could go back to bed. But finally I did get something and the sign is not gonna be until 11.37. So right now it is 8.05. So we've got some time that we gotta do all of our morning chores and then we'll start getting ready. So I guess the first thing first, we gotta make some dog bowls and then go make the bed. Okay, so I got all the little little dog bowls laid out. So I'm gonna do these ones first because these soak in a little bit of water. Just kinda soften up the food and the big ones don't have to. But right now we still have six dogs in the house because Maple is still here. But we think we found somebody who's gonna end up adopting her. I don't wanna speak on it too soon because I don't wanna ruin anything, but she might be getting adopted soon. But for the meantime, she's still here. And I mean, we don't mind having her here. All right. Try to like evenly scoop out the food. So there's Smokey and Bandit and Todd. Hello, Lucy girl. Hello. Hi, good morning, mamas. And then Bronson's way over yonder. I don't know if y'all see him. So I'm gonna let them play for a bit while I get all the chores done. Okay, I made your bowls. Are you gonna come help me make the bed? Come on, baby. Let's go make the bed. Come on, dude. Y'all. <laughs> I always call this my puppy parade. The puppy parade, oh, here comes Mimi. She's speeding through the corner. <laughs> Hi, Mimi. I like that when I make the bed, I can actually see into the backyard so I can like watch all the dogs. Like this is Bronson right here. I don't know. And then I can see Lucy. This is their favorite thing to do. They love to run the fence line with the neighbor dogs. I don't know if you can see it. This is our neighbor's like German shepherd. But anyways, all right, let's go ahead and make our bed. So I don't know if y'all are gonna see the vision yet, but it'll come together. So in the winter time, I love like a cozy, like cabin-esque, like a very luxurious cabin bedding set. So that's kind of like the vision here of what we're going for. And our bed set is actually from Brooke Lennon, who I do want to thank for sponsoring today's video. They have the most comfy, luxurious, like high quality bedding out there. It was funny because I had like my Brooke Lennon sheets on there. I think it was like maybe November. And then I had bought some other sheets and I was like, oh, I'm gonna switch them out for these. And as soon as I put them on the bed, I did not realize, but I immediately, me and Chip both were like, listen, you notice the difference. Like these sheets are just so good. You notice the difference. So we actually ended up ordering a new set. I really wish you guys could just feel the material. It just feels so soft and so nice. And you don't realize like when you put high quality sheets like this on your bed, how much better sleep you get. Like it is just amazing. It's so comfortable. So this is actually our duvet cover and the shade window pane. So it came with the, the two pillowcases as well as the duvet cover. And we did a mix and match, which you can do between their class and their Luxe. And this is their core sheet, their Luxe core sheet set in the shade Cilantro. They launched a ton of new colors and they have like seasonal and limited time colors as well. And I just feel like this is like the perfect like high-end woodsy vibe. So I'm gonna go ahead and make the bed. I love Brooklinen's best-selling Luxe sateen sheets because they're the ultimate bedding upgrade. They're perfect for elevating your sheet game and these sheets feature a luxurious 480 thread count with a slightly luminous finish. And sateen is usually more tightly woven and heavier in weight than Percal, making it warmer and buttery soft, which is ideal for year-round comfort. And instead of buying individual items, you can save 20% by purchasing a hardcore bundle, which includes a core sheet set, extra pillowcases, and a duvet cover. And right now, Brooklyn is offering a very special discount to my viewers of $20 off orders over $100 using my code CATNESBIT and clicking the link down below in the description box. Once again, thank you to Brooklyn for sponsoring today's video. Now I'm gonna go finish getting ready for the trip and I guess we'll get out of here. <music>
right, so we just made it to the Dallas airport, so I have to make this very fast because the traffic was absolutely terrible. Essentially today, we are gonna be working three flights, so we are gonna be doing a Puerto Vallarta turn. Puerto, Puerto Vallarta, Puerto Vallarta. <laughs> I don't know why, that sounded so weird. And then we are going to Louisville, Kentucky, where we have a 17 hour layover. And then tomorrow's just gonna be one flight home. So today's gonna be a very long day. Our duty day is gonna be about 12 hours. <laughs> So we're gonna have to push through, but anyways, let's go ahead and get our stuff, go through security and head inside. Oh, also really quick, I forgot to mention our flight is already delayed, but they didn't change the sign in time. So right now it looks like there's a 30 minute delay, which I'm not sure because there, there's weather in the middle, but the plane left on time. So I don't know if maybe their route is longer because they have to go around it. Now you come around, you knock on my door. I don't even know what you're looking for Asking me, baby, oh, please think twice Come on, everybody, let's just roll that dice you guys it is officially 1 a.m but we have finally made it welcome to louisville kentucky and you guys this room is probably the biggest hotel room i've ever had like this room is making london hotel <laughs> be like like quaking in its boots it is absolutely massive like let me let me just flip you around and show you so as soon as you walk in there is like a massive living room right here there's also like an entry closet here with like tons of space like this is like a house closet and then one tv is here a desk and over here is like an entire coffee setup and then you come over and there's like another little hallway room and you come this way and here's the huge bathroom with the shower the toilet and then like all the amenities like just look how much space is in here it's kind of crazy then you come out again and you come this way and not just one bed but we have the double beds you guys know one to eat one to sleep and then another tv and another closet over here as if the first one wasn't big enough and there's gonna be our luggage rack like this is insane i'm a little bit scared to like spread my stuff out like all over the place because i'm gonna forget something Listen, I think this is the first time I've ever been in a hotel where it was set correctly on 74 without me touching it. You know what? This is kind of cute and I feel like the lighting's not bad. So I'm gonna like set you guys up on, on this mirror right here. Yeah, I think, I think this is the setup. I think this is gonna work. I'm like bloated. I don't know about you guys, but like after I fly, I get like a really like bloaty, <laughs> bloaty belly. I don't even think like y'all can like really see it or do it justice. But I, my stomach like bloats, it hurts. But also, so I brought my little micellar water, but I didn't forget these this time. And yes, they are clean, um, they're just stained. But they came straight out of the, out of the washing machine. The last two flights, um, weren't full which was really nice so it made it super super easy the only one that we were like full on was going over to Puerto Vallarta because I feel like this is kind of like an in-between because it's like where the holiday season ended and then where like spring break and summer travel starts travel kind of slows down and it's like where you just have to enjoy those those little bits of time before <laughs> before everything picks up and it's like pure chaos but actually this month on reserve has been insane normally january is like the slowest reserve month it's just like one of the slowest flying months in general but that has not been the case at all at all this month basically i dropped two of my reserve trips but what sucks when you do that 
is that if you drop the trip, your schedule still shows that sequence. So it's as if you worked that trip. So you cannot pick up anything where that sequence lays out, but also your legalities are based off that sequence. So for example, I was good for six days and I had bid on a two day and I got it on the beginning of the six days. But then all of a sudden my wrist was acting up and like the weather was acting up, which I'm pretty sure it was the weather that was like causing it. So I had to drop the trip. And so when I drop the trip, it still shows that trip on my schedule, not the hours obviously, but it still shows that trip. So the hours come out of my reserve guarantee because I'm guaranteed 75 hours in a month. So I actually wanted to pick up right after that, but because you're not allowed to fly more than six days in a row without a 24 hour break, I'm not gonna be able to do that. So even though I didn't work that two day, I dropped it, it still shows as if I did work it. So you have to still follow the legalities. And this can obviously vary like airline to airline. It completely depends on, on like their rules as far as like trading and dropping um, trips on reserve and that sort of stuff because we can trade trips, but you can only trade with the same number of days. So if I get awarded a two day, I can only trade with other two days that are the same day, but I can't trade with like two days that are later or three days or turns. So you have to kind of follow like the footprint of it. And this is the thing that varies from airline to airline. Now some of the things that don't vary from airline to airline are like FAA things like the seven day rule. That's, that's an FAA thing. What you can do and like how much flexibility you have on your reserve schedule absolutely depends on the airline you work for, which I won't lie. I don't think, I don't think my airline has, <laughs> I don't think my airline has the best uh, reserve system out there. I know right now the union and the company are in negotiations, so I don't know how much of this is or isn't going to change. So yeah, I'm just going to throw that out there. I won't get into the nitty gritty because that part of the bar of being a flight attendant is not as fun. I'll be honest with you, it's a lot more stressful and and I don't want to get into it on my channel. I try to stay away away from controversy because I've talked to you guys before that I love my job and I love creating content and showing you the life of a flight attendant. But also there are certain things, there are certain parameters you kind of have to fit within. So I'm not going to get too much into detail about too much or anything, but Anyways, that's the gist of it. I guess we need to move into the bathroom and cleanse, cleanse me face. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just set you right here. It's probably like the most unflattering angle, but yeah, this is like my last trip on reserve and it's it's been a goodie, but you guys, I'm not gonna lie, I'm ready to go back to being a line holder. I'm ready to be a line holder again. That's just what I enjoy the most, but some people bid down to reserve. Some people love it. I personally, don't. <laughs> I feel like I used to love being on reserve. And it's funny because like when I first started being a flight attendant, like when I think it was my second year when I started being able to hold a line, sometimes I really did prefer reserve. But I don't know. Now, now I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm a line holder girly. I don't know. Everything in the airline, you go back and forth. You switch a lot. It just kind of depends on the mood. But anyways, it is already 1.35 in the morning. I am exhausted. So I'm going to go ahead and call it a night and I will see you guys bright and early in the morning. Night. Good morning, you guys, or I should say uh, afternoon. Um, it's almost noon because I made a crucial mistake. I was actually on the phone with Chip until about 2.30 in the morning, and we realized there was some stuff that we needed to get done, so I had to wake up at like 7.30 this morning and get some of that stuff taken care of, and then after that was all finished, I was like, I'd kind of like to sleep just a little bit longer, and I forgot to set an alarm. So now it's almost noon. Um, van time today is gonna be at five. So that doesn't give us like a ton of time, but it gives us something. So basically I would like to go to the gym because I didn't get to go yesterday because it was such a long work day. And I know we're going to be landing in Dallas late tonight. So I kind of want to like get some activity, activity. <laughs> get some activity in there. But also we're gonna have to figure out something to eat because when we did that uh, Port of Alarcha turn, I didn't pack any food because you can't take it back through customs. And I would have had to have taken like my lunchbox and dropped it off in a crew room. And then once we got back, like went and collected it. And I just, I didn't want to do all that, but I kind of want to get in a work and work in. <laughs> I can't speak. My brain is still asleep. I kind of want to get a, uh, a work in, a workout. <laughs> oh my 
don't know. I kind of want to get in a workout um, and then figure out something to help us on this journey. I'm not the biggest fan of hotel room coffee, as you guys know, but I did bring us, bring us something to help us on our journey. A nice big old Celsius. I didn't show you guys the view last night because it was super dark, but honestly, y'all didn't really miss much. You missed some rooftop, so I think, and a dirty, super dirty window, so I think everybody was fine. But anyways, let's go get physical, physical. If I got a copyright strike for that song, I'd be so, <laughs> I would be so upset. like this area like I'm about to like be interviewed I kind of feel like I'm doing a documentary sitting here I don't know why but we got a good workout in there was like tons of equipment for a hotel gym that was pretty nice so I ended up doing shoulders triceps and then some incline walking and then when I was doing my incline walking I ended up looking up some restaurants and I found a Peruvian restaurant that seems really healthy and also has like really obvious gluten-free menu so I ended up door dashing that here while I was doing cardio so that should be here shortly so I guess I'm gonna wait for that because I'll probably have to go down to the lobby to go get it and then we'll eat and then immediately I think we have to shower and start getting ready for work today which again we just have the one flight and we are going from Louisville Kentucky back to Dallas and that is it okay so the food just showed up and it's unmistakably mine because I saw a big old name on it so I ended up getting half white chicken green beans and steamed veggies and then this <laughs> this little thing of mashed potatoes and then also it said it came with like a mild and a spicy sauce and I don't know what this is. So I'm gonna go ahead and probably eat like half of this and then save the other half for later. I don't think I can open this one handed. All right, well, I will see you guys. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a bit. I am all dressed and ready to go. So I guess let's go ahead and grab our stuff and get on out of here. Mm -hmm. 